All right, we have the Kraft Balsamic Vinaigrette Dressing and Marinade. Okay, this is a salad dressing that's pretty popular that most people use. And I just wanted to point out some rather interesting facts to make you guys informed and aware of what you're actually ingesting. Okay, so this is the picture. Kraft Balsamic Vinaigrette. You'll find it in pretty much lots of grocery stores. And now we're going to look at... The nutrition, you got 90 calories, 4 grams of carbs, okay, uh, 70 calories from fat, there's 2 tablespoons in a serving size, okay. Now this is where it gets fun. The ingredients, vegetable oil, canola oil. Now another name for canola oil is rapeseed oil. So when you eat this salad dressing, you're getting raped. That's right. Do you want to get raped tonight when you eat your salad for dinner? Canola oil. One of the worst oils that you can consume. I mean, do you even know where canola oil comes from? It's not even a tree, a fruit, whatever. Soybean oil. Soybean oil is very rancid. And not to mention soybeans are usually GMO, genetically modified. Genetically modified organisms have been shown to cause organ failure in animals. So what do you think that it's doing to humans? Probably making a lot of males infertile. It's causing a lot of inflammation because of the high omega-6. And then we have an extra virgin olive oil. Well, wow, they actually put a really good oil in here. But because they put canola oil and soybean oil, the negatives sure outweigh any of the positives that you would get from the extra virgin olive oil. So, a good quality product will not have any bad ingredients. So this is just awful. Moving on now, we go to water. Balsamic vinegar. And you know, vinegar, the only vinegar really that humans should be consuming is apple cider vinegar. Vinegar is very acidic. And all we need is more acidity in our body, right? On top of all of the acidity that's already there. Oh, just great. That'll give us a good dose of acidosis. You know, they say that a salad a day keeps acidosis away. But if you're consuming balsamic vinegar, I don't know how true that quote would be. Okay, so we got wine vinegar, grape juice and it contains less than two percent of sugar okay so they're adding sugar into this salt which is not sea salt okay that salt is processed and refined so it has all of its trace minerals removed you want to make sure that you're always choosing something that says sea salt so that you get 83 plus trace minerals dried garlic that's not bad garlic's got a lot of health promoting benefits Jejean mustard Again, they're putting vinegar in here, distilled vinegar. Why not use apple cider vinegar that's known, got a lot of health benefits. Mustard seed, that's actually medicinal. Water, salt, there's salt again, but it should be sea salt. White wine, citric acid, tartaric acid, and spice. Again, more acid. A lot of cheap vegetable oils, rancid oils, oxidation, inflammation, and acidity. This is just the thing we need to be putting onto our salad to create lots of acidity and inflammation. Spice, whatever that is. Xanthan gum to hold everything together. Vitamin E, oh nice, they added a synthetic vitamin E to this because they couldn't get it from actual whole foods. Oh, I see, because synthetic vitamins are better than natural vitamins that come from food. Oh yeah, that's right. Dried parsley. Oh, wow, they actually put parsley in here. And natural flavor. Gee, I wonder what that entails. Natural flavor. So as you can see, guys, um, I am not impressed at all with this product. Be careful of salad dressings like this, okay? Kraft is owned by a big company. Uh, not health-promoting whatsoever. This is causing a lot of inflammation and problems and people use this an awful lot so